Hey guys, how's it going? So continuing on with the weapon guides for the heroes, we're going on to series EVA. Uh, they just tweaked her a little bit, so she's better at DPS. Well, they didn't just tweak her, it was a couple weeks ago. But she is definitely a viable DPS now. So start with going over what you're going to need in general, and then we're going to go over what you're going to need while you're leveling up, and then when you get to massacre. So first, you're going to want a slow, sh well, a high base damage weapon. So it's going to be a high base da damage weapon so that you can use your skill, which does a bunch of damage and actually goes through walls and stuff, which not sure if it was intended, not sure if they're going to change, but it goes through walls and stuff. And if you're going to go this way for DPS, you're going to want a genie as well because most of your damage is going to come from this. So you're going to want it to be going forever, if possible. This is actually really good for doing bosses. It's good consistent damage. And yeah, it's great for massacre bosses. And then the other one is you're going to want a fast shooting weapon. This is more of a Huntress style DPS. Uh, if you really want to go just for this, you can get a cat and just keep shooting. Um, if you're going to do that, though, you might as well go Huntress, but it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Do whatever you want. Play DPS whoever you want. <laughs> but that's what you're going to want. You're going to want a high base damage weapon. You're going to want a very fast shooting weapon. So let's get into the differences and options. So... While you're leveling up, if you're looking for a fast weapon, I would go with the Disintegrator from Demon Lord. Uh, you can use a different weapon. You can use a minigun. Miniguns get very fast attack rate. Same with paintball gun. Paintball gun you only get from Act 3 though, but it's, it's up to you. Uh, an another option is also going for a staff because you can use staffs. So the staffs aren't going to be quite the attack speed you want, but you will get more projectiles. So it kind of makes up for it, depending on the staff you get and whatever. And then it's always important to remember you can use staffs if you're making a builder EV. Because sometimes you might get a staff that has better stats. And while you're leveling up, you're probably cycling through weapons pretty frequently. So don't worry about it. Just keep going through them, upgrading where you need it, things like that. I wouldn't really say there's any weapons that are truly worth farming for Eevee early on. Uh, you can get pretty decent DPS out of her. And she's pretty safe because of her like holographic decoy. So if you have trouble surviving, this might be a better bet for your DPS with. And that's really it uh, for early on. So you get a fast weapon, and then you're going to get a uh, heavy hitting damage weapon. And this is where some of the weapons that seem like they're a little more useless actually come, into hand, come in handy. Um, I actually really like the grenade launcher because you can get heavy base damage off of it. They drop everywhere and it's it's seemingly a useless <laughs> um, seemingly a useless weapon, but it's actually very good. You get high base damage and then you can do more damage with your skill. So it's really any weapon that you can find that has high base damage. The only one that I found kind of not really trying, but just going around looking for a weapon the best one i could find was the grenade launcher and it just seemed to drop so often um, that being said the skill even with your other weapon still does pretty decent so you can still use this even if you're using a fast shooting weapon it's just the ones that shoot fast tend to have high uh lower base damage all right and now to Massacre. <laughs> Massacre is where you're really going to be firing weapons. And this is actually where Eevee really seems to shine. So for your uh, fast attacking weapon, you're either going to want a Demon Horn, which is what I have on this Eevee, or you're going to want a Spitfire. So there is a, a relatively big difference 
So the demon horn is going to attack fast and use physical damage. The Spitfire, you're going to increase your fire damage. So you, it's going to be a bit of a difference, but it's along the same lines as a Huntress, where it's physical damage or elemental, and it's when you're auto-attacking. So you can change up your gear quite a bit if you're using a Spitfire with elemental damage. You can go more for, for the health instead of the attack. This makes it a little bit easier to run and use both of your weapons. So you can get the Spitfire for your fast attacking. And then I like to use the Proton Blaster as my heavy base damage, which it does have a really good base damage. Um, so your, your beam will do a lot of damage. So you can just switch pretty freely. Just if you... If you're running a cat for whatever reason, and because maybe you're the only one that can, um, so you'll have a cat, you can do this, and then when it runs out, just shoot. You can either shoot for AoE damage, which in some cases is actually very good, or you can just switch to your demon horn. Um, I That is the probably the nicest thing about having an EV DPS, is your ability to switch. So you can go from having short range, well, relatively short range AOE damage to having long range single target damage. Um, I think that's what I like the most, but you can jack your health up because you can focus more on getting stats to make your beam do more damage and getting more health. And then having your Spitfire, on the other hand, if you don't want to use the Demon Horn, so that that does more damage so you can just do a bunch of fire damage a bunch of fire dps and switch it up and do beam damage or more aoe damage uh that's probably the biggest thing you're, you're gonna you're gonna want to play this the way you want to you don't have the increased attack rate that you get from a huntress so you are going to want to go more towards beam if possible. Like you're going to want to use your beam more. But the range isn't as far as you'd want. So I am out of range right here. Which kind of sucks. But the range isn't super far. But it's good for bosses. Throne room, you can stand on the stairs and shoot the boss through the wall. Which is just crazy. I, I, I'm not sure if they're going to fix it. But you can go through walls with it. So... That's a complete strategy people have been using. Or you can just switch over and just auto attack. Um, I have been using Huntress more than Eevee, but I'm definitely going to be switching over to Eevee once I can get better gear for her. Um, I, I like being able to switch up DPS depending on your situation. You don't need to worry about switching your weapons and stuff because you have both of them on basically all the time. And it works out really great. Um, completely viable dps it's just you're gonna need a little bit of a group because you're gonna want a cat in the group so that everyone does more damage you don't really want the cat if you're playing ev you're gonna want a monk in the group so that you get that bonus to everyone else as well so it matters sometimes you just need someone to be boosting so ev isn't always possible but for the most part you can run her and she's good. And she'll she'll get the job done. You get the DPS you need. You get the single target. The only thing she's really lacking is she can't buff other people. But I hope the video helped. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notifications whenever I post new videos. I also stream Monday through Friday, 9:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm usually streaming streaming DDA, but I stream other games here and there too. And thanks for watching.